To get started in Second Life, simply go to the Second Life homepage on the web, secondlife.com. Once there, click on the big orange button, Get Started, and you will be taken to a community page, a new feature. Some of these communities are commercial. I recommend that if you choose something, choose Orientation Station, the second one there, which is also the same one you would join if you simply clicked Skip this step. Clicking on skip this step takes you to the create account page. The first step in creating your account is to choose a default avatar and it really doesn't matter which one you choose because you can change the appearance later. Next you can create and have any first name that you would like so long as it doesn't have any except letters and numbers in it. After you've done that, you click on Get Available Last Names. Now be sure that you like that first name because once you register with it, you are stuck with it. So if at this point you want to change your first name, click on Change It and go back and get something that you like a little bit better that you can literally live with. Clicking on Get Available Last Names will give you a list that you must choose from. You cannot create your own last name in Second Life. You must choose from the list given to you. The rest of the elements in the Create Account interface are very, very standard and we will go ahead and speed dial on through this. On the email address, it must be a valid email address because you are going to get one of those confirmation emails. The date you were born, as long as you give a date that indicates you are 18 years of older, you are good to go and you will be allowed into the main grid. You must give your real name. If you're a male or female, doesn't matter, you can say whatever you want to, and your password is something that you can create, must be between 6 and 16 characters long, and be sure to remember it, because getting a lost password from Second Life is a bit like breaking into Fort Knox. So do a good job on your security question as well. After that, you will verify that you're not a robot by clicking in the uh, picture words. Accept the terms of service. Click on create an account and then you'll be told to go and check the email account that you provided the address to for your confirmation link. The Second Life email is actually one you might want to hold on to. It has several important links there for help, support, and then the great showcase link if you want to see the best of Second Life. But the link you're most interested in is, of course, the click here to activate your account. Doing that will indeed activate your account and take you to the download and install page. Here you follow the usual procedures for downloading a piece of software to your desktop, saving it, and installing it. In addition, uh, while this is downloading, I also wanted to mention that there are minimal system requirements that your computer must meet in order to be in Second Life. The internet connection must be cable or DSL, no dial-up allowed, and the operating system for your Windows folks is nothing less than Windows 2000. The processor, not too bad, 800 megahertz, 512 of uh, RAM. Where most people get in trouble is the graphics card, which does need to be the NVIDIA. Those that you see there are ATI or the Intel. If you meet those, great. If not, I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to play at this time. After your download is complete, simply double click on the install package and follow the usual procedures for installing a piece of software on your computer. Once the software is installed, you'll be asked if you want to launch it. Second Life loads up and then you will sign in using the avatar's name, not your real name, but your avatar's first name and your avatar's last name and then the 6 to 16 character password that you created. Clicking on logging in will take you to one more terms of service page. Second Life definitely wants to cover its bases in case it has to ban you 
you for any illegal activity. Now, once you log in for real, you will land at Orientation Island. You wait for a second for your avatar to res in. Here we're going to see Xenotropic res in in front of the ball headed guy there. And once your avatar reses in and all the other objects in the screen res in, you're ready to click on begin. And once you click on begin, you're going to work your way through this screen that contains nine basic skills. The first skill here that you're seeing is of course using the forward, back, left and right arrows on your keyboard to walk. And you must either walk, ride, or fly in second life or teleport. So once you practice this skill, walking forward, walking backwards, turning left, turning right, you then click next and you go to the next skill. The third skill is flying and you click fly on your tool set down at the bottom and the key to flying is that the forward arrow moves you forward, the back arrow moves you back and the page up and the page down keys control your altitude. The trickiest part about flying is landing and the key to landing is continue moving forward while holding down the page down key until your feet hit the ground. In other words, hit the ground walking. So again, you fly and hold the page down key until you land. The step four is uh, using your camera view, holding down the Alt key and clicking will direct your camera and your avatar's look to that place. But anyhow, there are nine of these different steps that you work your way through to learn these basics. Now, after you've finished all of the tutorials, including the last one, which is altering your avatar's appearance, Click Save All and you will be taken back to the tutorial screen and you are ready to go to Step 9. Clicking on the right arrow takes you to Step 9 which is using the search tool to go wherever you want in Second Life. Now of course I want you to use the search tool down at the bottom of your tool set to go to Escribir Park. So up in the search bar, next to Find, type in Escribir Park. And under Category, select Education, and click Search. When Escribir Park, the entry appears, double click on it, and the internal browser will load all of the information regarding Escribir Park, including a thumbnail photograph. To teleport to Escribir Park, go down to the teleport button and click. And you and your avatar will the Penning Region and Escribir Park. After everything has resed in, feel free to take a look around, play the videos on the different video screens, and whenever you're ready, go to the next tutorial in which you will learn how to narrate your PowerPoint using your avatar in Escribir Park. When you're ready to go to Escribir House, simply click on Search again. But this time, type in Escribir, the single word, and then select Educational from the drop-down categories. Clicking on Search will bring up two entries one of which is Escribir AW21, that stands for Association Works Island. When you're ready to teleport, go down to the Teleport button, and clicking on it will take you to Association Works 2, and land you directly in front of Escribir House. After Escribir House has loaded in for you, Please feel free to walk right in. The doors will open automatically and have a look around. And then you are ready for the next video tutorial, which will show you how to give your PowerPoint an Escribir House, if that is where you prefer to give it.